Well, spring is on the way, and that means gardens and forests will be back in full bloom, even though it's hard to imagine. But so will plants that have a negative impact on local greenery. Now, uh, Megan Benage is here from the Tippecanoe County Soil and Water Conservation District to explain how to get rid of some of those pesky plants. Good morning. Thanks for being Good here. Morning. No problem. Well, what is an invasive species? You know, there. Are, um, I was familiar with one of them you mentioned, but. Um, what defines an invasive species or plant? Well, there's a lot of definitions out there for invasive species or invasive plants, but the easiest way to talk about it is that they're any non-native species that causes either ecological harm or economic harm to either to any kind of habitat or situation. So you could be talking about streams, forests, lakes, your garden, your neighbor's yard, <laughs> a right. farm field, anything. And what are some of the names? I think you mentioned emerald ash borer. Is that emerald ash borer is one that's um, an insect. And then we also have um, autumn olive, Amir honeysuckle, Canada thistle is one farmers really don't like. Uh, then, oh, there's so many Asian carp. Right, <laughs> right. Now, in terms of um, in getting rid of them from our gardens, um, I was saying, did, did you can you find them in farms and your local city garden? I mm -hmm. mean, is that something that's possible? Yes, it's. It's highly possible. Invasive plants, and that's sort of what we're focusing on in this region, is that the problem with them is that they're so prolific and they're so, they just have an incredible ability to spread and mm -hmm. outcompete native plants. And essentially, it does have a huge economic and personal impact because they can wipe out an entire forest understory and suppress tree growth and all these other things that you don't necessarily think about. And they create monocultures, which decreases wildlife and all these other things. They're they're bad. Yeah. <laughs> they're bad. Are, they, are they weeds? Essentially, is that what we call weeds? They're are weeds. They? Most In most cases, when we're talking about invasive plants, we're talking about non-native. So they're things that usually came over from Asia or Europe or other places. And in some cases, hmm. they're plants that 50 years ago we thought were a really great thing, would great erosion bank stabilizers, erosion control, wildlife plants. And now we're finding out, whoops, <laughs> they're, really? they're not so good. <laughs> okay. So. And they they basically sort of stamp out uh, growth of the plants that you want in some right. ways. Right. In some them. cases, uh, some of the plants have chemical pathogens that they release that actually suppress growth. So they're pretty nasty things. They just yeah. have a great ability to outcompete native plants. Well, um, uh, how, what is the best way to get rid of these plants, and how can we learn more about if they're in our garden or our farmland? Um, how to get rid of them. Well, something really exciting is happening in western Indiana. Right now we're in the process of forming what's called a cooperative weed management area, okay. and that's basically a region. It, right now we're focusing on 27 counties in western Indiana, and it's a region that's focused on really getting awareness out there and the right message. There's a lot of times you hear about mm -hmm. invasive plants, people are like, I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm not sure. I think I saw this somewhere. I don't really know what's going on. And so what we want to focus on is getting the right message out there and early detection and rapid response. The best way to kill something is to know what it looks like. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, if people so. um, want some more information, they can actually call you at the Tippecanoe County Soil and Water Conservation. The number's up on the screen there, 765-474-9992, uh, extension 3. And you can tell them about, a me there's meetings coming up. Yes, there's some regional meetings right now. Southern Indiana already has a cooperative weed management area fully formed, fully fledged. There are 36 counties. And now Western Indiana is trying to get on this same bandwagon and form our own. And so we're having region meetings where we're looking for people to join our steering committee volunteers for pulling parties and we're just looking uh, basically a cooperative weed management area is an umbrella organization that sort of directs where we're gonna go because there are already local groups that are tackling this so mm -hmm. the meetings there's one tonight in Terre Haute and it's at 7 I have my little cheat sheet and there's one tomorrow in Indianapolis at 645 and then March 2nd in Noblesville at 1 p.m. so we already had okay. our meeting here but but they can call you to get more information uh, at course. the Tippecanoe County Soil and Water Conservation District well, thanks for being here this morning. No problem. Appreciate it.